You ready? I stepped into an avalanche. You must be a cowboy in no time. It covered up my soul. Hang in there with him. Stop, stop it. So your character, Henry, you know, he's in the program. Yeah. And he seems like kind of a happy guy. Yeah. But he's also happens to be in jail. <laughs> yeah, know? yeah. Um, what do you think Henry's backstory is, and how do you think he got like to where he is, and how do you think he got kind of okay with where he is in the program? I think Henry was one of those people who, who really just made a mistake. You know what I mean? Who was really a product of his environment. He's clearly a drug dealer, and and is kind of ad addicted to that sort of atmosphere. But somebody who just had a really big spirit. You know what I mean? And somebody who could look at these horses and say. You know, five years from now, I could potentially be out of here and own my own horse stable and, and, and really, you know, move forward in life. You know, he just sort of got caught up. Yeah, and I think that that is something the movie, I think, really talks about a little bit, where it's like a split second, like how much, like exactly. a few bad decisions can land you somewhere for 20, you know, plus years. Exactly. And it was just, it was, it was really interesting to to feel that atmosphere, you know, to be in a prison for most of the time. But it was also interesting to to work with a bunch of the guys who had that happen, you know what I mean? Who it was in the situation where only a split second changed their entire life, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And they were in prison forever. And they actually went through this, this, this horse program and to see that they could actually come back to the same prison that they were incarcerated in and work in a totally different environment and just have a really good attitude about it. It was so many smiles, you know what I mean? Like it was, it was the most liberating thing I think I've ever seen to see so many rehabilitated people be able to get back in this world and, you know, become fathers and, and, horse owners and all these different things. You know, it was really, really special and really warm to see. It's sad, sort of, that the program doesn't exist very much and that kind of what happens to it in the movie. Right. Um, because it does seem like if you're talking about something being rehabilitation, right. like this is something that is arguably rehabilitation. <laughs> right, you know? right, definitely. Yeah. And in working with horses, you just see so much of yourself. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, if you get big, the horse is gonna get bigger. You know, if if you move fast, the horse is gonna move faster. So, it it was just really interesting to see everything that you put out into the world just give it back to you so quickly. You know, it's like total instant karma. So it it was it was it was a really sort of deep situation going on. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? To like have to bond with these horses and make them really our co-stars and really our family. You really got to treat them like that, you know? It was, it was, it was interesting. <laughs> well, I was going to say, how were your horse skills before the movie? Uh, my horse <laughs> skills were completely terrified of horses <laughs> were my horse skills before this. I mean, they could be, they're big. They're yeah, so I had a really bad experience as a kid. Like, one of my friends was just completely trampled by a horse. And it was a Clydesdale, you know? So oh I'm like, wow, this is like, yeah, basically the Superman of horses just ran my like 411 friend over, you know what I mean? So it was it was really scary for me at first, but it was something that I wanted to challenge myself with too, you know? Because I never wanted to pigeonhole myself as an actor or put myself in a box. But also, I wanted to be able to like leave with some actual life skills, you know. Mm -hmm. Like it, it's nice when you get to play with big boy toys and fly helicopters and tanks and all this stuff. But when you get to really be able to bond with something that puts so much fear in you, like it took my manhood up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you're gonna be like riding horses for fun, like in the future? Definitely, <laughs> definitely. I'd like to own a horse one day, but they're like, I mean, they're like a child that costs two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, a year, it's crazy. So I don't, you know. It's like you know, maybe a few more movies <laughs> before I own a horse, it's but that upkeep I'd like, that. like get you, yeah. Yeah, they're like kids, you know what I mean? Like every morning we had to like clean their faces and make sure their teeth were right and clean their ears and make sure their feet were right. You know, they're like just huge kids that can't take care of themselves. <laughs> were you assigned to one horse during the movie, and then like what was that horse's name? Uh, that horse's name was Soldier. Okay. He was incredible, a super incredible horse to work with, and. Just a real brute, you know, like one day I he stepped on my foot and didn't realize he had stepped on my foot and stayed on there for maybe like 45 seconds, you know what <laughs> I mean? I had to get other people literally to help him get off my foot. But even though like my foot was super sore and super swollen, like almost out of my boot, I just, I, I wouldn't give up, you know? I was like, yo, I, I want to learn how to ride a horse. I want to learn how to be this guy, you know? Mm -hmm. and. 
all the Wranglers and all the Cowboys out there really respected me for it. And I still love that hush. <laughs> it's somewhere, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's interesting that you say that because um, while shooting the scenes with a lot of, like, the windstorms and stuff mm -hmm. like that, like, those are all things that horses really, really don't like. Mm -hmm. And by that time, we had really got to bond with our horses, you know what I mean? So there were times where, like, you know, there were guys who was really crying with their horses, you know what I mean? Or, like, yelling back and forth at each other, like, hey, you know, like, we're trying to yell, but keep it calm at the mm -hmm. same time, like, hey, hey, you know what I mean? Like, don't, don't do that, no sudden movements. And we we all end up grouped together in this in this in this kitchen, you know, mm -hmm. and we're all, it's like 13 or 14 horses in there and a bunch of guys in there and we're all like super emotional, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Because we, we wanted to just make sure the horses were okay. And to watch them leave was a big deal, you know what I mean? It was, it felt really, really strange. And uh, the bond that you have, you know, with, with something like that is just, I don't know if there's words for it. The whole purpose is to learn how to break these wild horses. And ultimately, our rehabilitation. 